Hi folks, good day from Donegal and Ireland, it's John Sparrier from Caleb Websites. One of the members there in the WordPress Recipe Maker Food Bloggers group on Facebook had an interesting question yesterday and they didn't quite understand the HTML. They were looking to put a custom button into the top of the recipe post that when you click the button it'll scroll down to the notes section in the WordPress Recipe Maker plugin a recipe card. So I'll show you exactly what we got working here and i'll just tidy it up and all of it but this is what i mean that we'll have text or a button at the top of the post here and when somebody clicks on it it goes to the notes section that green bit of text there is actually the notes section now the thing is when you click the button it'll put the part that we're linking to right at the top of the browser so we actually i want to reposition that i'm going to show you how to edit the html into the into the recipe card in the editor so we'll just um we'll be able to understand the theory behind the how the anchor works at the end of this tutorial and you'll be able to do it yourself so a great resource for any of these coding type things is the w3 docs uh, school over here and they will actually give you the code to do this so what i've done is we need to put this bit of code here i'll link to this article in the notes under the video so what we want to do is copy that bit of code there because that's our anchor and we want to just in case now what we want to do is go to settings in WordPress Recipe Maker and we want to, I've just a couple of updates and a warn for license there at the top, that's nothing to worry about. So here we are, we want to go down to our default recipe template and we want to make sure that we're editing the correct template. So the default template to use for the food recipes on your website and it's logged out recipe card is the name of it there so we want to go into the editor recipe templates and logged out recipe card is here we want to go edit template we want to go up to the top left here edit html and this might look confusing now because people were saying that they didn't see html like this before and there is bits of html there these things in the curly brackets they're all the um wordpress recipe maker short codes is what they are and they identify themselves you can see that there's actually the recipe notes and recipe ingredients and recipe equipment so once you understand that that short code is used to display the block for recipe equipment if we go over to this is a great resource on the wp recipe maker short codes these are all on the on the plugins uh, website so if you're you can use these short codes to build a uh, custom templates so it's all there see what i was on about and they all start with the prefix wprm recipe author is there and so on so i'll link to that actually in the video resources as well so we want to go back to the editor and remember now that i have copied this bit of code to the to the clipboard on the computer now so we know that we can identify the blocks now because they uh, they have very descriptive names it's very clear so i've actually put in this anchor already it's there so i've put it in do you see here we have recipe notes so and make sure that you have the recipe notes block added to the card because if the notes it's down here at the bottom here okay so and so if you don't know how to do that you would go to add blocks and there it is it's actually called just probably two there's private notes and then yeah recipe notes so the recipe notes that's the one that's public and the private notes are only for the user they can only see that themselves so it's recipe notes don't get them mixed up but you would click that and you would say edit blocks and then so we're going to where have I put that now? 
Take her to notice, did it? But I'm just going to cancel that. I'm not sure where I put that, but hopefully. But that's where it goes. So we want to log the recipe card. We'll just go back here. We want to go into the HTML. So it's down at the bottom. Just make sure, as I say there, that the note section is there. Okay. And so we want to look for that short code down at the bottom now. And we can see that it's here. And what I've done is I've copy and pasted that code from there into the card and what we want to do then is so that's there the notes and I'm just going to I'm just going to put it up one here because there we go save that because remember I said that when we click the link that it's putting the notes section right at the top of the browser. So to bring it down a bit, I put the anchor up a bit higher. So when I refresh the page and when I click the link, no, it didn't make much of a difference. So I actually need to their recipe notes so yeah if I take it out of there and I'll put it in front of the uh, instructions you might we might have to actually move the blocks around a bit on the recipe card to get this working a bit better now Add new post. Just check this again. Yeah, it's going it's going down to it, but it's not perfect. Because I'd prefer it to uh, to go down to that. So hopefully, folks, you might have to play around with that. And another thing is the actual speed of the jump. It's going in an instant. There is a, there, there is a way of making the scroll smoother and everything. But that's JavaScript. I'm not sure how to do it, actually. That we'd have to research that a bit more. But hopefully, folks, you understand now that that's how you put the anchor anyway into the card. So... It's not 100% perfect, but the theory is there to get it working. And the other thing is now the HTML that we have here. So up at the top, and that is when I go back to my post, it's this is the HTML up here at the top, anchor name ID. So jump to the part of the page with the anchor name. This is it here. So we want to copy this. And I'll show you how that's put in. So I'll just delete that. And so we want to get our custom HTML block and just paste that in and update. And there we have it. And it It'll scroll down to the notes. Now, so we want to edit this text now. We don't want that to say what it does here. So it'll be this bit of, let me see now. I just want to make sure with the anchor ID. Yeah, so just delete that. And it's inside the brackets is what we want to put, um, put our text jump to recipe notes section like that so it's important here to note that see the the hash sign with the anchor name there that has to be the same as where is it now here see this anchor name 
they have to be identical because that's how it identifies the link to go to so we want to make sure that's correct if you change them by accident it won't work so there we are jump to recipe notes and it'll bring you down to the notes so i actually i just want to do something actually i've actually um it might actually look better if i actually have notes in it folks i've actually no notes in that recipe uh do 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 copy what's the name of the recipe it's a uh, mushroom chili we want to go back to manage recipes we want to go to mushroom chili anchor text tutorial i was actually going to i was nearly going to edit the wrong one folks so we want to go down to our notes now paste that in we want to save that and i might have to resave the post again will the notes all oh, the notes are there yeah so there we are folks jump to recipe notes section and there you go yeah it looks better with the notes content in so and i'm just trying to think now the name where you want to jump so you might actually i want to go back into you might actually want to get rid of that so because all we need is the anchor we might not actually want any text there because we have the heading for the notes don't we we do yeah the heading is there for notes you see well you can actually turn the headings on and off i'm pretty sure in the card as well so update the recipe card that link should be gone now yeah it is there we go yeah so um what you could do as well so that you're not what we need to do as well actually we can can't we save this as a re yet yeah, create reusable block and we're going to call it jump to recipe notes a uh, jump link you know or whatever you want so so that's there now and so when we go to when we go back to posts add new just say we're putting a use standard editor there i'm using a page builder there we want to go into whereabouts are the reusable blocks in this now folks it's over here where on earth is that now tools no gee folks i'm getting confused now i'm not sure oh there it is there it is re re reusable blocks so just where was it now when we go in patterns reusable blocks jump to recipe link and there's how you put it into your new post folks and then we would go over here and you would put your recipe in underneath and format your uh, post recipe post as normal so folks i hope you understand all that and that clarifies our problem and yeah it works and it looks quite well there it is folks hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to doing more tutorials don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you need any help with any wordpress problems please contact me i'm over here at cateredwebsites.com okay thank you very much good day have a super day folks good day from Ireland. bye for now